Nottingham against Leeds in Sheffield for world glory. They've done 10 years in boxing with so much bad luck and nothing happened. We were nothing gifted at all for his career. These are not two GB standouts that have been pushed to the top. They've done it the hard way. Many people didn't think I'd get to this level. It does get to you when things aren't working right. The comments of people saying that at least going to do this, least going to do that, Josh has passed it. They don't have a f clue. You have to take me out on a stretcher before I stop. There's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do. There's a lot on the line. Loss would be really damaging for both of them. Josh's head, I need to watch Josh's head. <laughs> have some of that. Tisley would have the best chin. I was to let him say what I want, so I'm fighting that. I'm fighting him anyway. I've never seen myself stood over him. I'm going to get him out of there on the new. <laughs>
and do nothing but fight the big names. When it's all said and done, people might say, you know what, Josh won, won a bad fight actually. You know, quite entertaining, you know. People might say, fucking glad that cunt's retired. I think whatever they want to say about me, it, it doesn't matter because the history books are there. I've, I've become a, a world champion in my city. I've done things that I've never thought I'd be able to do. To so those who doubt me, keep it coming. Keep it coming. It, it's, it's a fuel to fire. I thrive off that. Has all the ingredients for a fantastic fight, but it's just the one that I feel like I've been here a little bit longer, with more experience in level, and uh, I look forward to becoming a three time world champion on October 7th. Down me now, motherfuckers! I'm not too bad to be honest with you. I don't have to worry. It's like, certainly, there's never been a time where I've had to get up and fuck shit. I've eaten too much last night. I've never had that problem. 10% dead on. Nice. Beautiful. Perfect. What would I drop down to? Maybe 20. probably a bit less. Really? Maybe like six or seven. No problem. Do you think Lee struggles making it in Newton? He's 35, isn't he? I mean, I know there's, he's had camps back to back. Um, that might play in his favour because it you know, stops him from going too far up. But with that being said, you know, one last week seeing him, this is not slagging off his physical looks or anything like that, but his head didn't look right. Like it fucking wrinkly and tight parts of it. It's Jim White and it's Simon Jordan. Uh, the 17th floor of the news building here at London Bridge. We've got camera crews here in the studio because two fighters who go head to head next month, Lee Wood and Josh Warrington, two times world featherweight champion, are going to fight it out in Sheffield. Thank you. Cheers, all. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's great to see you. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm good, mate. It's good to be here. Um, talking about the fight and, and, and pressure. Yeah, there's, there's always pressure. Mm -hmm. um, but I like it when my back's against the wall. This is a proper fight. It's mm -hmm. a difficult fight to pick. I know Josh is not going to like this, but I'm mm -hmm. slightly erring towards Lee. That's bad. Yeah, go on then, you can bang that on. <laughs> but where are we at then? 9-1.6. Beat Spence, isn't it? Oh, he's a puncher. He's a puncher. If you don't do it now, it's pretty obvious. Oh, fucking, I'm, I'm yeah. solid. It. I'm solid it. <laughs> he's fucking he's skinny, he's old Lee. He's looking tight. I was to let him say what I want, so I'm fine now. I'm just going to batter him anyway. Let's do that. He gets on them scales. His face fucking looks all wrinkly. Is that fucking tight? I think a lot of attention got took onto Lara last time out because of his weight. No one really looked at Lee on the scales. You know, even though he made the championship weight, he didn't look the best. Manchester, England. This is the moment of truth, and there's no turning back. I feel like jumping straight back into the rematch, it wasn't so much a point to prove to anyone, it was more to myself. I knew I was a better fighter. When he beat Lara, fair, fair, fair play. I expected Lee to beat him the second time, so when he did beat him, I, well done. You know, there were no. Like, oh, fucking hell, you know, he's done what I should have done. Like, not like that, it's like, that's it, it's done. But he's produced a technically flawless performance. Larry's fucking not great at fighter. Oh, what does that make you then, Josh? You fucking knocked you out, you cunt. Yeah, we did. But like I say, I have my me, me own fucking reasons for that. Like, Larry's just not great. He's fucking just a, a wild guy. I don't think it was good for him to see me beat his biggest rival. If he's saying that he's a better fighter than me and I beat someone that he couldn't beat, it's not a great start. Oh, I was hoping Steph, the rematch would be straight away. He went hooking with a hooker. You can't do that with Lara. 
you see what he done to Warrington when you go hooking with him. Lee got behind the lead hand in there and took him to score. Won every round comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Let's go, Sean. Let's go over there. I, I do believe Josh Warrington was a great fighter. I do believe that, you know. I do believe he was a really good fighter. Yeah, but I do honestly believe his best years are, are behind him a bit, yeah? So, and you're, you're like what you call a late bloomer, fine wine, get better with age. That's true, you are. Keith has just got home from a party. I own cake and eat numbers. So I swiftly got out of the house. Daddy, 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 daddy. <laughs> like crackheads. <laughs> In the past, people have said to me, oh, pressure's off a bit now, you've, you've, you've got an L on your record. It doesn't take the pressure off, it adds to the pressure. I've already got fucking two L's on my record and I don't fucking like looking at them. I have another L, two losses on bounds. So, you know, where'd you go from there? I think there's a lot on the line for Josh, I think. It would be very hard for him to come back from a defeat here. There's a lot of talk about his head. What do you reckon about that? See his head, yeah? If he starts fucking waving in that head, yeah? Do it back to him. Do it back to him, yeah? Don't be fucking bullied by it, yeah? If he wants to start sticking a nut in, you stick the fucking nut in. Oh, well, he fuck. That's what do know. That's his after the brush. <laughs> you don't even know what's going on, does it? <laughs> I actually know Sean quite personally, you know, he's, um, he's, a, he's actually a really nice guy, you know, he's actually really nice. he's done a good job of his son, you know, it's going to be a bit of backwards and forwards, hopefully, a bit of banter, nothing personal. He's all right, it's possible. I don't know where they all get this head thing from, we've never had a pint off, you know, we've never even been wild. Eh? What I said earlier was, if his head's getting close enough to headbutt me, he's going to take one of them on the way. So, wham! Right through the middle of him. Two special ones in. And it, and it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Double head. Yeah. Yeah. What about that one? We'll see if referee's there yet. Yeah. Have some of that. <laughs> On social media, I think everybody says Josh's head. I need to watch Josh's head. But um, I disagree, you know. Um, I think there's certain parts of his game which are very good. And I don't think it's anything to do with his head. I just think he's better all round. Just all round, every department. He can fight, he can box. A lot of people overlook that. All they see is him coming forward. But that's not the case, you know. I think they're over overlooking a lot of things. I think he'd be too strong for him. Everyone keeps going on about this big punching carry on, but I don't really see it, you know. Something. We've all, we've all got power. Everyone's got power at this level. Some people have more power than others. But everyone has power. Being able to hold that punch. If Martinez would have hit him the same right hand that broke my jaw, would he have still stood? The first clean shot that Larry hit him with. Oh! On the backside. Second fight with Larry, you know, he can quite like to celebrate. He did what he had to do, but. Lara didn't have anything to fight for in that last fight. He couldn't go on with belt. It stopped him from cutting weight to make the weight. He turned up and he went through motions. He, he wasn't the same fighter that came over and, and inflicted that stoppage on Lee. Everybody saw that, you know, no matter how much you argue, it was there to be seen. Dishing him out, yeah, that's perfectly well and good. But taking him, or 12, at my pace. I don't think so. I don't think he can. I'm confident, very confident. He's got a bit between his teeth now. And I can honestly go in one way. I'm a big fan of Josh, actually. I'll, I'll go to his fights and I support him. There's lots of kids that they'd look from the outside and say, I've got more talent than him or I'm better than them and this, that and the other. But they haven't got the character that these guys have got, you know? The word obsessed. Yeah, it's, it's, it scares me at times. It scares me because it's just a, it's just a boxing match, but I know what I'm prepared to go through to win and what I'm going to do to win. There's nothing he can do. 
There's nothing you can do. I've came too far. I'm too close to achieving my dream. This is the last little stop before the big one. The city ground. We've been promised that now, haven't we? I'm not only promised me, I mean, I'm putting pen to right, paper. So it's in the contract, mate. Right, Don't worry about that. There's no way I win this fight and it's not the city ground. That sees dangling carrot, but uh, I'm a small party. This is as big as it gets, you know. This is two rival cities, two big football clubs as well. We'll be going at it in Berkeley. It's like, this is why you've gone through the hardships. You're living the dream now. This shit you fucking, you dreamed of when you were 11 years old. Two lads that have come through, um, the amateurs and the pros, and end up on top of the tree, fighting for a world title. This is boxing, and these are the moments we live for. He needs to be better than we've ever seen him. Is he going to bring something that I've never seen before? Is he? No, he isn't. Is he unbeaten? No, he isn't. Josh can only fight and win them certain style matchups that favour him. What do you fucking mean? I'm not up to that I've boxed every single style there is to box and I've always found a way through. I think he's had some good wins, some good scalps, so I think that's why he thinks he's better than me. Lee openly admitted that, you know, I've been in with a better opponents and that's, that's fact. You can't fucking say that Michael Conlon is better than Carl Frampton, Lee Selby, Issa Shamagasi, Dennis Silan, because they've achieved more than what Michael Conlon has done. I'm finished. I'm finished and Lee's fucking on this runaway run like never before seen, which, you know, I can sit back and sit, and, and sit with a smile on my face because his team might think, that, yeah, it's fucking brilliant, come on Lee, we're on the right roll, but is it really that fucking good, you know? As long as I can go forward or as long as I can throw punches or as long as I can do something with time left, I will do it. I'm not letting them let it happen no matter what. Even if he could land a lucky shot, I've shown again and again that I could pick myself up. When it comes down to going right into the fucking trenches, I know I can do it. I've done it many times before. You know, through the time I've worked with him, he seems super focused. This is a really big one for him. I think he's motivated for every fight, but this one, he's got that edge to him, you know? What he's achieved is, is phenomenal, and all this talk about that he's on the slide, I think the complete opposite. I, I don't think he is at all. I think he's still in, uh, still in great form, and I think he's probably as hungry, if not hungrier than ever. You have to take me out on a stretcher before I, before I stop. With two fighters that always bring the excitement, there's going to be one hell of a fight, and that's guaranteed. I only see myself stood over him. I don't know when it will come, it will be early, it will be late, but it will come. I predict a stoppage. I know what I need to do to, to get to him. I'm going to get him out of there. Josh Ronan, three-time world champion. And still. I'm the new. <laughs> come on.